Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to discuss what are the conditions of Hindu marriages. In a reference to marriage of a male and female, there are certain conditions that need to be checked and fulfilled. Only then marriage will be validated. So in this video, I will discuss those conditions, especially in reference to the Hindu Marriage Act 1955. Let's start with the first, that is, as per the Section 5 of the Hindu Marriage Act 1955, neither party has a spouse living at the time of the marriage. Next, at the time of the marriage, neither party is incapable of giving a valid consent of it in consequence of unsoundness of mind or Though capable of giving a valid consent, has been suffering from mental disorder of such a kind or to such an extent as to be unfit for marriage and the procreation of children, or has been subject to recurrent attacks of insanity or epilepsy. Next, the bridegroom has completed the age of 21 years and the bride the age of 18 years at the time of the marriage. Next, limitation of relationship. The parties are not within the degrees of prohibited relationship unless the custom or usage governing each of them permits of a marriage between the two. Next, the parties are not subindas of each other unless the custom or uses governing each of them permits of a marriage between the two. Next, validation of a Hindu marriage. As per Section 7 of the Hindu Marriage Act, a Hindu marriage may be solemnized in accordance with the customary rites and ceremonies of either party thereto. Further, the rites and ceremonies include the Saptpadi, that is, the taking of seven steps by the bridegroom and the bride jointly before the sacred fire. As the couple takes seventh step, marriage becomes complete and binding. Next, a special case. However, based on the judgment of SPS Bala Subrimanyam and Surutyan, AIR 1992, Supreme Court 756. If a man and woman are living under the same roof and cohabiting for a number of years, the law would raise presumption that they lived as husband and wife. So, this is all about the conditions of Hindu marriages. 